<sighs> Don't worry, guys. I missed you too. I'm back for my week-long hiatus. It was a nice little break, but I missed you guys. And I know the three of you that watched my videos consistently missed me too. But boy, oh boy, do I have something big in store for you today. But before I whip it out, I gotta tell you guys, I've been stacking a ton of those landscape cinematography-ish intro shots that I always do, so we gotta get a couple of those out of the way. And then we're just gonna get right into the video, okay? Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, wait. I told you guys something big was coming. This is an unboxing, possibly the biggest BMX unboxing to ever happen on YouTube. This unboxing is so big, it's gonna take multiple days for me to do it. Actually, that's just because I have more parts coming. This is just the first day that parts have gotten here and I'm not gonna wait to unbox them all at once because I might actually die. But I have basically ordered a brand new bike. Basically the only thing I'm keeping is gonna be the wheels, the cranks, sprocket and chain, that's it. In a trade, I acquired these practically brand new Odyssey forks. Everything else I'm getting new. And uh, a pretty big part of that just came. One sec. Pucker your freaking butthole. Almost dropped it. The first thing. This was ordered from eBay because it was way cheaper on eBay than it was anywhere else. It's already pretty cheap, but are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you freaking ready? Itch This is a box. <laughs> In it, if I can figure out fucking Come on you, come on you shitbag. Oh my God, I'm gonna stab someone. The Shadow Conspiracy Tremone stem in Polar Pot Blue. And now for the big guy. This box is from Empire BMX. Yeah, I'm gonna move you guys so you get a better angle. Okay, let's do this. Down for my crown. Neat. Okay, okay, pause. You see how I'm kind of just holding it like in the upper corner of the frame? Um, that was an accident. I thought I was point I thought I was sticking things out into frame, but really I wasn't. I should have made sure I was, but I'm an idiot. The this some of the stuff that I unbox, well actually most of the stuff that I unbox in this portion, you can't really see that well. You can still pretty much make out with I'm sorry. I'm 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 sorry. I'm just I'm just apologizing for that part right now. You're not gonna get the most amazing view of what I'm unboxing when I actually show it to you. But you know what can you do? It's not like I can unbox this again because just can just carry on. Got a buttload of stickers and a beer koozie. Just what I need. How sweet. One, two, two, three. Four, five, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tubes. I'm good on tubes forever. Woo, woo, woo. Boy, look at that. I already run one of these seats, and it is literally the, the best seat I've ever ran. It's comfy, it's durable. Literally, the only reason mine ripped was because the TSA ripped it. And, and, what else did we get? Some brand new plastic. Pills. These look glorious. Cannot wait to put all this stuff on. And in this corner, S&M Hoder grips that I'm actually gonna put on right now. And then once I get everything else, I will install these white Devon Smiley grips. Two new fiend pegs, four and a half inch, going a little longer. An Odyssey fork bolt, a new shadow optimized free coaster hub guard, and a lovely Odyssey polished seat post that looks beautiful. Also, two 24 mil bottom bracket bearings. And then last, but certainly, certainly not least, two brand new BSD Donna Street tires. 
These are the exact same tires that I have on my bike right now, and I can tell you they are probably my favorite tire ever. They're like the Demolition Momentum tire, which was my previous favorite tire ever, but the sidewalls are like 8 million times stronger. Well, that is going to wrap up part one of this unboxing, but no, this video is not over. This video is far from being over. I still have, I'm still expecting two more packages. You are probably going to see those in about like two seconds, but I, I have to wait like a week because life is pain. Second, technically third, but second package has been received. And it is a pair of Fiend Garrett Reynolds Signature 9-inch rad handlebar. Can't. I think we're going to put the grips on them right now. Normally, what we do in a situation like this is cut the bars. But the cool thing about these bars is that they already come cut to like 27 and a half. So I don't have to cut these ones. We have the bars now. Now the only thing we're waiting on is the frame. And that's not gonna get here for like another week, so I'll see you guys in a week. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is like the middle or like last third of the video. So I just wanted to make sure that um, while you're still watching, I gotta talk about this stuff. Since we're back, I wanna really focus on getting my channel out there more and getting more exposure. And you guys can help me with that a lot. The way you can help me is by leaving a like. That helps a lot. Comments actually help way more because if you have an active audience then they're gonna help then you're gonna get more ex youtube is gonna expose you more so if you guys have any questions or just want to talk to me or just you can literally say anything start a conversation with me i will happily reply i usually almost always do unless i'm an idiot and forget usually i always reply to every comment and i heart every comment because i'm just just a loving guy you know likes really help i think comments help more sharing the video around and getting more exposure this video getting more exposure than youtube already gives it helps out quite a bit and uh subscribing does help but if you're going to subscribe and you want to get constant notifications because youtube is really freaking weird like you get subscribed to a channel and not get any notifications you gotta hit the bell if you want to be always notified when i upload a new video wow my voice just cracked really hard but those are some of the ways that you can help i always see all kinds of comments being like why don't you have more subscribers you deserve more subscribers what's going on. Honestly, I don't know. But these are some of the ways that you guys can help me. I'm sorry for begging like one of those people on the streets. That was offensive. I'm not trying to be like one of those guys where they start off the video and are like, before anything even starts, like this video. But I kind of also have to play the game in order to win the game. So if you guys could help me out with that, I would really, really appreciate it. But anyway, Next question. Now I know you guys are probably wondering, Denny, how the hell did you get all these parts? I mean, you don't make anything off of YouTube. How did this happen? Where did this come from? Did you just pull them out of your butt either a week ago or two weeks ago? I don't remember anymore. Um, it was my birthday. It was my 20, I'm 22 now. I'm getting pretty old. I'm gonna be in a retirement home soon. So expect videos on that, me moving in. And so about half of the, like, like half of, all the stuff I got was gifts, and then the other half I ordered myself. Yeah, they were just birthday gifts from my family and my wonderful wife. But anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know. Also, another random thing. Um, this thing I'm filming on right now is actually a brand new phone. I just switched carriers, and with switching that, I was able to get the new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So the camera on this thing is supposed to be like totally revamped and just like the best camera on a phone ever. I don't know if you guys if you guys ever knew that I film on my phone literally all the time. But um, this this phone is supposed to have a camera that's two different lenses. One's for nighttime, one's for one's for daytime. And as you guys know, we do film quite often at night on this channel, so that should help quite a bit with the overall quality. Let me know if you guys see a difference. Yeah, just updating now for last part of this unboxing, which is that gorgeous frame you saw in the thumbnail. After two weeks, it's finally here. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh 
my goodness. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, oh, oh my, there she is. Like satin trans blue Sabrosa MR1. Oh boy, oh my god. Oh, well, way to be way off angle. Brand new frame for my brand new bike. And I guess this will conclude the unboxing portion of this video. Okay, I know that was kind of an abrupt, hold on, let me scoot you back just a little bit. Okay, I know that was kind of an abrupt ending, but don't fret. This is only part one of a three-part series that I'm gonna be doing. Why is photo booth open? I've already, I'm already filming myself, go away. First video, which is this video, is the unboxing of the brand new bike. The next video, we're gonna build her up. And then the video after that, we're gonna go ride it and get used to it. That's the three-part series of Blair Mark 10. I didn't talk about the frame a whole lot. What it is, it's a, it's a, it's a Sabrosa MR1. It's Matt Ray's signature frame. You're probably wondering why it took two weeks to get to my house. Well, it's because I placed an order from one place and then the next day, they told me that the blue wasn't in stock because I wanted it in blue. The reason I wanted that frame was because it was like all the specs I wanted or geometries I wanted and um, it came in a really, really crazy looking trans blue that I had never seen before. I placed the order from one site. A couple days later, they told me they didn't have the blue, so I canceled that order. I could only find one other place that had that blue in stock, so I placed the order there. Then they waited three whole days to tell me that they didn't have the blue in stock. What happened was Sabrosa stopped making that blue and then when they restocked everyone with their MR1 frames, they had boxes that were labeled black and then boxes that were labeled blue. But the boxes that were blue only had black frames in it. So it just created this big old fiasco. But they didn't check for that until three days after I placed the order. I was pretty nettled. I told them to just send me a black one. And then a couple hours later, they called me saying that they did actually have some blue ones. And so they sent me a blue one finally, and then like a whole week later I got it because they took forever to ship it. But I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just bitching at this point. I finally got a hold of it, and I I gotta tell you, opening that box was quite an experience. I don't know if you could tell by the look on my face, but I was pretty excited. But anyway, that was the unboxing, and that is gonna wrap up part one of this three-part series. Thank you so much for watching. You made it this far. Actually, just watching the whole video helps out quite a bit. So if you did that, thank you. I love you. I missed you guys. Since after this week-long hiatus, I've just been really motivated to make better videos, more quality videos. I realized that my writing isn't blow your mind. I'm not anywhere near Brock Horneman or Scotty or Spencer Forsman. I'm not anywhere near that skill level, but I do see potential in for the entertainment of my videos within the comedy of it. I just try and make my videos more entertaining by being more funny, being myself, progressing with BMX, just doing all kinds of other stuff. But anyway, that is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Tell me what you think about all my new parts. Tell me that you hate me. Tell me you love boobs. I don't know. Just leave a comment. Start a conversation with me. I will happily talk to you for hours on end. Share the video around if you want to show everybody what really pretty bike parts look like or what an unboxing should look like or just you think I'm funny. Share the video around or you could just show your mom and be like, hey, look at this really ugly guy that writes BMX and makes videos of him opening boxes. I don't know what I'm saying. My dad is probably in his loading room. Being like, what the hell's wrong with my son? Anyway, share the video around. Help me get exposure and subscribe for more. And if you subscribe for more and you want constant notifications, you gotta hit the bell because hitting the bell will satisfy the angry little demon that lives in the CEO of YouTube's mouth because that's why that bell exists. That's that's part one. Part one's done. Thank you guys again so much. And I will see you guys in part two.